Hey everyone, so this past weekend I went to Fan Expo Canada in Toronto and I wasn't even thinking about making a video but I found a lot of Tron merch on the way so this will be a bit of a haul video and a description of my experience. There is a lot of stuff that happened so stay tuned. One of my favorite things to do each year is check out all the big booths that are there from all the big companies and they actually had quite a lot this year they had lego paramount disney plus hasbro xbox and much much more but those were just some of my favorites to be honest surprisingly i actually loved the xbox booth usually i'm more of a playstation guy because i love more of those games and such don't get me wrong there's still a lot of exclusive games that i love from xbox but i loved all the games that they were showcasing there such as indiana jones star wars outlaws and even call of duty black ops 6 which they gave me a beta code for which was really cool they also had some fan activations which i thought was cool now before i move on to all the tron related stuff there's one more booth that i want to talk about and that was the agatha all along booth usually disney showcases a tv show or movie every single year last year they did it for ahsoka and this year it was agatha all along and that makes me think that maybe they could do one for tron aries next year since that's releasing october 10th and every year fan expo canada takes place in august i guess what i'm getting at is it would be cool if it popped up next year since marketing will have likely already started by then now let's head over to the hall now like i previously said i did not expect to see anything tron related the most i expected to see was maybe a tron funko pop because those are very popular or the most popular tron merchandise that you can really find but instead i was quickly proven wrong now one of the first purchases i made was a vendor selling many funko pops and movie posters now i've been on a hunt for a tron or tron legacy poster for a while now so i thought hey might as well look so i went to the sci-fi genre posters flipped through a couple and tron legacy was sitting right there and while i went to go ask the vendor owner for a price one of my friends kept flipping through all the posters and they saw a poster for the original tron as well now i decided to buy both of these since i don't usually come across tron posters at all i bought the tron legacy poster for my movie room and i also believe that this tron legacy poster in particular is actually an international poster i have not seen this one that often and then i also picked up the tron 1982 poster for my dorm since i'll be headed off to university next weekend now there was also a deal where if you buy two you get one free and I am not putting three posters up, so I gave that one to my friend, for which he got the Ghostbusters 1984 poster, and then on top of that, he bought the Jurassic Park poster. Later on in the day, I saw a lot of vendors that were actually selling trading cards from the 80s, 90s, and so on, and I kept looking for the Tron 1982 trading cards, and eventually I found a vendor that was actually selling them, and they had a full box of them. I did offer for the full box, but they were only selling the packs for $5 per pack, so I ended up buying six packs for $30, which isn't too bad in my opinion. And I did buy an extra to give away, so please stay tuned if you want to win one of these packs. The next vendor I went to was actually carrying film cells. And for those that don't know, film cells are basically prints of 35mm film. And this 35mm film will have likely have been used as something like a movie theater. 35mm film is then put into snippets, and then you can buy it, which is what I did, of course. And when I went to look, there was a huge collection of Tron 1982 and Tron Legacy film cells. I, of course, picked one up for Tron 1982. Now, there was a good deal where if you bought three of them, you can get them for $100. And me and my friends each bought one, just to save the money. So my other friends bought Jurassic Park film cells and Pirates of the Caribbean film cells. They were also selling keychains with one frame of a 35mm film print. And I ended up finding one for Tron 1982 with the actual logo for the film. I thought this was very cool and I got it for a very good price. Now, one of the things that actually took the longest at this convention was waiting in line to meet none other than Cameron Monaghan. I have previously waited in line to meet William Zabka and Ralph Macchio at my last convention, so I thought it'd take around the same amount of time, but boy was I wrong. This line was not moving, man. It took about three and a half hours until I was finally able to meet him, and in between that, he had to go to his photo op where people basically pay to get a professional photo with him. And since the staff wanted us to actually enjoy the convention, they gave us each a ticket while he was gone so we could step out of line and come back and have our same spot in line once he returned. And I actually thought that was an amazing gesture since usually they just clear the entire line, and I'm so, so, so thankful that was not the case and for those that are wondering why i'm mentioning karen monahan on a tron channel well he will actually be starring in tron aries next year of course i'm also a huge fan of his other projects such as gotham shameless and i am a huge fan of the jedi games i love cal kestis he's probably one of my favorite jedi so i ended up getting him to sign my cal kestis lightsaber case from galaxy's edge and of course i had to get a photo with him overall i'm really happy i waited in line because he was so nice and it was amazing to meet him Earlier in the day, I also ended up going to the Cameron Monaghan panel. He talked a lot more about the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor games, along with Shameless and Gotham. And before anyone asks, no, he did not say anything about Tron Aries, but that's probably because of his NDA. 
overall i had a great time at this convention and next year when i inevitably go i will definitely have to film a vlog instead just because i didn't expect to see near the amount of tron stuff that i did and next year when tron areas releases there will be a lot more tron merch around the place so it'll be cool to check out earlier in the video i talked about how i will be doing a giveaway for one of those tron 1982 card packs and if you do want to win one of those i recommend heading over to my x or twitter account i made a giveaway post on how you can win one so go check it out anyways that's probably it for today's video i'll see you guys later end of line